Chairman Hassett, Vice Chair Principe, and the rest of the committee. I wish there were more city council people here, but I guess we have what we have. Sharon Steele, I live in the Jordan District. Let me introduce you to the new location of the Hope Point Tower. Um, it would be 110 Westminster Street, which is where this model was created. I'm not sure some of you have actually ever seen this model, but it was built by the architects for residences that were to cost between $400,000 and $2 million. A parking garage on floors two to six, a fitness facility, a lounge and outdoor garden on the seventh floor, residential units eight through 38, a height of 520 feet, and the landscape architect was Frederick St. Florian. According to Jason Fain, is quoted in today's Projo, Jason Fain came to Providence to build an iconic luxury tower. He is a man of his word and he is ready to move forward. If we are to take him at his word, he should be thrilled to build on a site where a sister building has already been approved and is ready to go. In fact, he could have started this building fully two years ago if he had chosen this site. He also said the tower will provide much needed housing for 800 residents. So I'm sure Mr. Fain's team knows that there are now, currently, a thousand units in the pipeline per our own planning department director in the downtown and the jewelry district, all of which will be delivered within the next 24 months. He also said the tower will generate 1,500 high-wage jobs for three years. But once the tower is built, this building will provide a whopping 22 jobs, which won't be even remotely high wage, and that comes from his own study. So here is Mr. Fain's golden opportunity to build his iconic luxury tower on a site that is just waiting for him. And he can deliver all those high paying jobs to all those unions who make up the vast majority of people who are demanding that our city council approve his 600 foot tower on a site zoned for 100 feet. Why? Because he wants to. Because he thinks he doesn't have to respect our rules or follow them. The city's zoning ordinance and comprehensive plan are very clear. So here's our request of the man who pronounces his love for Providence. Respect our city and its citizens. Build your tower or a 520 foot tower already had been approved. And do it quickly before the market goes south as it did in 2008. Because as you said yourself, Mr. Fain, you believe in Providence. So please prove it and respect it. Thank you.